Nefeli Lu is one of the most likable characters in Elden Ring, which shouldn't be surprising considering that she's a cool barbarian lady. Like most NPCs in this game, she has a quest line that you can complete for some good rewards. Unlike most NPCs in this game, this quest potentially has a happy ending. Unless you're pure evil, in which case it could have a very unhappy ending. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to complete the Felly Lose questline in Elden Ring. You first meet the Felly Lou in Stormvel Castle on the way to Godric. She'll be standing over a slain banished knight, which is your first sign that she may be a badass. Exhaust her dialogue, and she'll offer to help you take down Godric. After that, you'll find her summoning sign outside of the boss wall. Then, once you've beaten Godric, warp to the Round Table Hold, and you'll find that Gideon's doors are closed. The Feli will be nearby in this area, and when you speak with her, she'll hand you the Arsenal Charm. Exhaust her dialogue, and she should move on from the Round Table Hold shortly thereafter. During your conversations with either her or Gideon, you'll discover that the Feli is actually Gideon's adopted daughter. The next place you'll find the Feli is in the village of the Albanurix in Liernia of the Lakes, which you can find by traveling southwest from the Folly on the Lake site of Grace. As long as you've exhausted all of her dialogue at the round table, you'll find her here on the way up to the village, sitting under a bridge surrounded by corpses. I bet this place smells great. She'll be sad that so many innocent villagers were murdered, and will swear to mete out some justice. Continue on through the village, and you'll cross a bridge and find a summoning side for Nefeli Lu. Call her in, and she'll help you fight the omen killer boss that resides here. In this village, there's also a weird old dude hiding in a pot named Albus. After speaking with him, he'll give you half of the medallion that can get you to the secret Halleck Tree location. When you next return to the round table hold, you'll be attacked by Ensha. You know, that weird silent guy who never does anything, except attack us apparently. That's a weird moment, but it makes sense after you and the Feli kill the Omen Killer. It turns out that the Feli's adopted father Gideon was the one who orchestrated the attack on the village to find the very medallion piece that you just got your hands on. As a result of going against her father's wishes, Gideon disowns her, leaving the Feli sitting at the bottom of the round table hold feeling lost and depressed. Gideon's a jerk. So now what do we do with our sad Nefeli Lou? Well, let's leave Nefeli for a moment to go talk to another NPC that's related to this questline named Kenneth Height. You'll find Kenneth at this location on the map in East Limgrave. He claims to be the rightful ruler of Limgrave and will ask you to go clear out his fort, which is located here. It'll be full of various soldiers and a tough mad pumpkin enemy who's positioned out front. You need to get into the fort and kill everyone inside, including a tough knight who both uses and gives you the bloody slash ash of war. Return to Kenneth afterwards and he'll hand you an Erd steel dagger, offer to make you a knight in his service, and tell you that he's planning on establishing communications with the demi-humans. When you return to his fort, it will now be filled with demi humans who will try to kill you. I guess they only want to communicate with Kenneth and not us. Speak with Kenneth, and after witnessing the sorry state of his fort, he'll have changed his mind and no longer wants to rule Limgrave. Instead, he tells you that he's begun his search for someone worthy of becoming ruler. And I think we know someone who could potentially fit that bill. From here, we've almost completed the quest line, but there is one thing you can do if you don't want a happy ending for Nefeli. After getting through Carrion Manor and speaking with Ronnie the Witch, there's a good chance that you'll run into this jackass named Syllabus. He'll hand you a potion and tell you to get Nefeli to drink it. Yeah, don't do that. If you give her the potion, that will turn her into one of Celebus's mindless puppets. It's kind of a lame thing to do to such a cool character. However, it will allow you to get her as a summon later on. So it's your call. Where we want to go now is the Four Belfries in Liernia of the Lakes. Hopefully you'll have one of those imbued sword keys on you, as you need it to open this portal that's next to the message that says Precipice of Anticipation. This will warp you back to the Chapel of Anticipation, 
where you can fight the Grafted Scion boss from the beginning of the game. Afterwards, continue up to the chapel and go around to the side and up these stairs to find an item called the Stormhawk King. Normally when we get ashes, we can summon some sort of spirit to fight for us, but in this case, these ashes are for Nefeli. Give them to her, and she'll tell you that they remind her of her very first hawk. The trigger for the end of this quest line seems to occur right after you defeat Morgoth the Omen King. Once he's dead and you're on your way to the mountaintops of the giants, warp to the Godric the Grafted site of Grace. When you get there, rest at the Grace and head inside Godric's throne room. In there, you'll find the Feli, Kenneth, and if you didn't kill his ass earlier, Ghostock all hanging around. After speaking with Nefeli, it'll be revealed that Kenneth has chosen her to be the new ruler of Limgrave. Exhaust her dialogue, and you'll get a sweet ancient dragon smithing stone as a reward for helping her find her purpose in life. And if you speak to Ghostock, he'll sell you an additional ancient dragon smithing stone for 20,000 runes, which is nice, but the fact that he's trying to sell this to me instead of handing it over as thanks for not murdering him for stealing my runes earlier in the the game is kind of annoying. And with that, the Feli and Kenneth Heights quest lines are complete, and Limgrave now has somebody responsible in charge. Although I wish she would get the word out about me being a friend because all the soldiers in Limgrave are still trying to kill me. For more Elden Ring news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>